Today I'm uh, covering the ArduSat DemoSat. And what we're looking at here is a one-to-one -one scale model of a CubeSat the, and the actual size of satellites are flying in space. And what I'm going to do today is go over some of the components here and give you just a really quick overview of what we're looking at. So first of all, I want to start off with the stuff that you see right here on the top. So this is that common breadboard that you see here. So you can put, put in components and we have a rail here for doing adding components here and prototyping. And then right here is the fun part. This is our ArduSat space board. And on here we have nine different sensors that'll give you 20 different values. Uh, you can see a connector right here. That connector is a Grove connector. And uh, if we follow that down, that, that board is connected to our Arduino down here. So uh, hooked up, it's an I squared C bus. So four wires allows you to get readings from all those nine sensors. Okay, so we have our Arduino in here. So this is the brains of our demo set. So some of the things to know about this is, um, so you can go and power um, to your wall with an adapter, but uh, more commonly, uh, what you'll use is you'll use a USB cable. And from here, you plug this into here. And then what it can do is it can provide, um, it can provide both your power um, from your USB cable, hook this to your computer, and it can also be used for programming your Arduino, and that's where this happens. Uh, what I want to do though is I'll switch and show you the next component here, and it's, it can be a little confusing, but uh, same cable, um, a micro USB, is also used for this really nice component here, and this is our Power Booster 1000. And uh, this is made by Adafruit. And right here, this is also what, uh, uh, the same type of uh, cable is used for this. And, and this is the cable that you will use to um, charge your lithium uh, ion battery right here. So this cable is used there. Now, um, you trace that through, that goes to the Arduino and that's what gives this power here. Um, and then if you see on the other side of that power booster, you have kind of like your common uh, USB port there. And that's actually an output. So the kind of the cool thing with that is you could actually, this has enough juice with this battery and that booster that you can actually, um, you could take like an, an iPad and an iPhone and you could charge those off of this battery or even hook another Arduino to this unit for some type of experimentation. I'm gonna move around and, and look at some other components. So the Arduino doesn't come with a real time clock on board. So what we do is we've added one here. Here is a real-time clock. You'll see it has a tiny battery in here that just keeps that charge. So once you set the time on that, uh, that battery will keep the time uh, on that chip. Moving around, our next component right here is uh, the SparkFun Open Log. Uh, this is a really neat logger. Um, it, it takes data off of the serial and writes it to an SD card. So here's a little SD card that's inside of here. And the way this is created is, the second I put the SD card in here and, and fire this up, any information that's coming through the serial port, will it'll create a file and it will start appending that data to that file. Um, and a little bit about this SD card is they also came with a reader here. So this is just an adapter. So this might, you might not have an adapter for this. It's just an option, put it in here. Then you might have a, a, a larger adapter uh, option for uh, retrieving that data. Okay, we see this uh, device in right here. It has a little antenna. So this is our radio frequency communication device. And this is an XB Pro. And so this is, uh, allows this unit here to talk uh, line of sight, you know, theoretically about a mile. And from here, what it does is it communicates to another transceiver. So uh, both of these devices can communicate wirelessly uh, between each other. So what you can do is you can have your program set so this can talk wirelessly to your computer where you have your other transceiver, XP transceiver. Um, and then I guess when we look at a couple other things here, um, <laughs> importantly, <laughs> we also have that on-off switch is right here on the top. So it just toggles on and off. Uh, you'll see the power light come on. You'll see your, um, uh, some of your devices come on. Uh, one thing to note too is, um, yeah, when, when these are connected, you'll actually see a green light on both of these devices, uh, a lot, knowing that uh, these are established a connection. So that's just your really high level of the demo sat. And if you have any questions, just uh, post them at our site. And um, thank you.